Hello, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Is that a tongue twister? But anyway, this is the little beauty right here and the packaging is to die for. If you know me, I am a sucker still for packaging, but this is it. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. So before we get started, I just had to give myself a little shout out. Today is my birthday. I am 48 years old. I mean, of course, I mean, I just had to give myself a shout out. Anyway, I will have timestamps below as usual. You know, I always have to start off with a little blurb about the foundation. I have them listed below. So let's just go ahead and get to it. Again, this is the foundation. It's really pretty. This part is glass and this part is a plastic top it does come with a pump and the shade is at the bottom the shade that I have is in shade 12 okay uh, let me see if I can get it close okay I'm thinking you can see that I'm hoping so I did pick up three other shades to swatch for you all as well as of course the shade that I have so I have shade 14 13 12.5 and 12 and I do have on the foundation right now I do feel as though it it kind of dries down to a deeper shade just a little bit of course when you all see the swatches and things like that you can let me know what you think now before I get into you know what the foundation claims I just want to quickly tell you my thoughts I think that this is a really pretty foundation. I was hoping that since it claimed to be like a semi matte or something like that, that it would dry down completely, that I wouldn't have to use any type of powder. But I did use a little bit of powder, powder, powder on my forehead. And of course, I used a little bit of powder to set the concealer that I used under my eye. But that's the only place that I set was uh, right here on my forehead and a little bit on my nose. Now, I do, again, I do think that this is a pretty foundation. The only thing that I don't like is that I feel as though this foundation accentuates my pores. I have pores all along here and it never fails. It just seems as though any type of matte or semi matte or demi matte or any kind of matte that I'm going to really see them but outside of that I just thought I would mention that because I do know that is a concern of some people but overall I think that it is a really pretty foundation it does claim to be transfer resistant and um, I'll talk more about that a little bit when I read the claims but I think it's a pretty foundation and I do think that it is a good match I was trying to match my chest and different people match different things and and this is just kind of what I wanted to match and you know again as always you always let me know what you all think about it down in the comments so let me quickly read some of the specs which I know the UIT is already flooded with all of the information but let me just go ahead and talk about it it does have 44 shades but I again I swatched 14 uh, 13 12.5 and 12 and I can't help but think that I know that I'm probably going to get some folks that say uh, 14 was probably your shade you know I understand that but I, I, I consider myself kind of in the middle of the spectrum as far as uh, deeper skin tones and the darkest shade that they have I'm looking at it now the darkest shade appears to be 16 and the darkest shade that I swatched was 14 so I feel as though and this is just my little two cents you can definitely let me know what you think I feel as though they could have gone a little bit deeper but that's just you know my little opinion let me know what you think because 14 really doesn't go that deep and I'm looking on the Sephora website and again it looks like the deepest shade is 16 if I'm mistaken please let me know but again I'm on the Sephora website and this is what I also saw when I was at Sephora last night so let me just go ahead and read the claims it does claim to be full coverage and it claims to be a matte finish and I do agree with that okay it also has a moss cell tech which is supposed to help thoroughly hydrate the skin it has an air cool which provides an immediate fresh feel on the skin and once it dries down and things like that I am getting that type of vibe from the foundation and it also has a reflexium I think I'm pronouncing that correctly which helps to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and it does have some call outs it does say that it's vegan 
and that it's cruelty free. It also said, says that this is a hybrid skincare foundation which contains the Char Charlotte Tilbury's magic matrix of ingredients including the groundbreaking magic Replexium to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. The hydrating lightweight formula is sweat proof, humidity proof, waterproof, and resistant. And you know, anytime foundations claim to be sweat proof, resistant proof, I do like to wear them to the gym. So probably when I finish uh, editing this and uploading it, I will go to the gym and work out in it. And I'll post it on my Instagram just in case you're interested how it holds it to see how it holds the holes up. And all of my handles are down below in this description box if you're interested. It also talks about studies that were conducted with men and women, which say that it was was tested on 311 men and women over eight weeks and it says a 96 uh, 97 percent agree that it feels cool after use 95 percent agree pores looked reduced i don't agree with that let's see skin had limited exposure to everyday pollutants etc etc as far as the ingredients are concerned um you know when i look at the first I guess five or six I don't see any egregious offenders in this list however as you move down in the middle I do see fragrance and yeah, many of you know that I, I hate fragrance I don't understand why brands have to put fragrance in especially a foundation because if fragrance that I really don't want to get on a rant but that's just trash I mean we don't even know what's in it why, why it's I, I don't believe that it's necessary but anyway I'm not gonna get into that but anyway that would be the only egregious offender that I see but that's again that's down in the middle so anyway with all of that being said I'm gonna go in and the next couple of clips you'll see where I swatch shade 14 13 12 and a half and 12 which is the shade that I have on now and you can let me know what you think again thank you so much for hanging in with me this far so let's go ahead and get into the swatches all right so here we go we're gonna go ahead and get into the application and just remember that I picked up the shade 12 and here is the bottle right here but I also have again shades 14 13 12.5 and 12 and again the shade that I picked up was 12 so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch 14 13 12 and a half and 12 right here so this is shade 14 All right, and the next shade is 13. This is 13. All right, and the next shade is 12.5. And then the last shade that I'm going to swatch is the one that I picked up, which is shade 12. So I'm gonna give all of these shades a second to dry and I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I'm back and it's dried for the most part of it. Um, so this is what we have in my, my brush. Okay, so this is shade 14. This is, this is shade 13. This is shade 12.5. And this is shade 12. So when I picked the shade, I was trying to match my chest. So 12 is what I got and I'm going to go ahead and apply it even though you all have already seen me in the first clip so you know what it looks like. So on this side of my face, I'm going to use my favorite brush. This is the Sephora 56 Pro brush and on this side, I'm going to use a sponge so you can totally see the application. And also, I don't use a primer. You all know that. I just use my regular skincare, especially since this foundation dries to like a demi matte. I'm going to use use my uh, origins a perfect world age defense treatment lotion I'm also going to apply my Kato matcha and chai essence lotion and I will use my eye cream which can also serve as like a base for concealer and this is by go pure it has hyaluronic acid plant stem cells vitamin E I always use this and then I will also have my moisturizer and this is just the belief aqua bump moisturizer so I'm going to take this off and apply that and I'll be back all right so I'm back with my 
skincare applied and I'm gonna go in right now and apply this again this is the bottle it's very pretty it's got the um, shade on the bottom and this is a glass frosted bottle this top is plastic so let me go ahead and squirt out this is the foundation and this is the consistency so as you can see it's really runny so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying it All right, so here it is applied with the brush. As you can see, I feel as though it does match my chest. And I think that this, again, I think that this foundation does oxidize a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and apply the other side using a sponge. All right, so here you have it. This side is applied with a brush and this side is applied with a sponge. I really don't feel as though there's a need to go in with a second layer, even though I typically do go in with a second layer because I think the coverage is pretty good. Um, I do see that um, my dark spots right here aren't covered. I have two acne scars right here which aren't covered, but I don't really want to go in with the second layer because I just feel as though it may be a little bit too heavy and I think that this is uh, really good. I think that it matches my chest really well. As far as the texture, once this foundation dries down, I honestly feel as though there's no need to set it. It, it sets itself. I do have pores right here. I don't know, foundations like this tend to accentuate my pores. Why, I don't know. It This foundation, reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Stay Naked, the new foundation. The only thing is that one was more mattifying. So this is what it's looking like. And of course it does need a second to dry down. And I do feel as though this foundation oxidizes just a little bit. You can tell me what you think, you know, because I did show you the swatches in the previous clip, you know, once it was applied and a couple of minutes after about five or 10 minutes, just to kind of give it a chance to dry down. But um, overall, I think that it feels good. I don't think that it feels, um, it's definitely not the best that I felt on my face, but it's comfortable. I don't, um, I, I don't feel as though it's too heavy. When I'm looking at my skin, I personally don't like the way it's accentuating my pores. I have pores right here and I'm going to come up more so you can kind of Hopefully you can see them, but I have pores right here and I feel as though some foundations just really accentuate those and this one does they're, they're like right up in here so i'm hoping you can see those but overall i think it's nice i don't think that i know if i apply a second layer of this i'm not gonna like it i'm gonna go ahead and finish with my complexion and i'll be right back. all right so i'm back with my complexion completed and i really do feel as though this is a really nice foundation the only gripe that i would have or the only two gripes that i would have with this foundation is that in the ingredients it does have fragrance which i don't like and i feel as though this for this particular foundation accentuates my pores so overall I think it's a really pretty foundation the only places that I really had to set was on my forehead and I did use a concealer under my eyes and I of course I powdered there and I used a little bit of powder on my nose now this foundation does claim to be sweat proof uh, sweat resistant all this resistant and things like that so I will put that to the test if you're interested to see how that 
that really worked for me you can go ahead and follow me on my Instagram because later on today I will go to the gym and I will do my normal workout and that typically consists of lifting weights and then I'll go to um, do cardio and after that I'll do the sauna but before I do the sauna I'll probably step outside and do a clip so you all can see so yeah overall what I recommended um, if you don't mind a foundation that has fragrance in it if you don't mind a front a foundation that's kind of going to accentuate your pores which I have pores right up in here and there <laughs> you can really see them I mean I'm looking at them I can see them from here if you don't mind that then I would say go for it overall like at a distance I think it's a pretty foundation so let me know down in the comments if you've tried it if you plan on trying it let's talk about it down in the comments I'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches